All right, man. So they're really keeping from us what went on with Sanji and Caesar and where they are. But at least we finally got to see Jack. Me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and we're back with more One Piece reactions today. Back in Zo. And yes, the mystery is slowly unfolding of what went on here. But it seems like as we learn more, just more questions pop up about what's going on. Gonna hop right into these. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Ninja. Now, oh, that's how they distract her. They just start beating him up. They're pretending like Brooke is a ninja. No, it's too late. Wanda already knows. It's too late. Just be honest, guys. Be honest. Oh my gosh. Wanda, keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. Just figure it out. We need in max information. Oh my, oh my, oh my. It feels like we're back with the freaking Tatanas. Oh. Brother, what did they do to my boy? Finally, we meet Duke, the leader, one of the leaders. I'll tell you the rest of the story later. Do they just not care about where Sanji and Caesar are, bro? What? Shishilian? What? Oh, I thought that was Cavendish for a second. The, like the hat and everything. <laughs> oh, it was like the Musketeers they, they were talking about. Shillian. Is he a tiger or a lion? Weren't those your men? Babies? Also, Shishilian's a little... What? Shishilian rules with an iron grip. Is he like the leader of the Musketeers? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. This feels like, like abuse. He said he was doing it because he, they mentioned sweet things. Uh, what? He's gonna throw a house at him. Shishilian, you're killing your own men, man. What? Okay, okay. Just another One Piece character, baby. Quirked up. Hi! It's weird seeing all of them like so together. Oh, is he, is he hugging us? Oh. Damn. Dude, then that means like Nami, Sanji and all of them did a lot. I'm guessing they fended off Jack and that's why he dipped and like went to the Doflamingo's ship. Slams the door open. The Duke! Oh, there's the doctor and chopper. This is the leader. The leader of Zoe. One of two. Oh, he's got glasses. Was oh, huge. Oh my. Oh, he's a dog. Two dogs. Talk. I'm an idiot, bro. I'm an idiot. No, that makes sense. He's a giant dog. That's sick. Damn, he looks badass. Oh, his voice too. Oh man. Duke Dogstorm. Bro, look at him. Yeah, neither have I, Luffy. You and the rest saved us too. Oh, because of Doflamingo? Like what they did in Dressrosa? Wait, he's not gonna elaborate? Is he asleep? Oh, he's... There's no way he's staring at Brooke. Oh my gosh! Their obsession with Brooke is just amazing. This <laughs> is fiending for him. Come on, let him nibble on your leg, Brooke. How much I got sucked on and chewed on the past few days. Bro's been used. That straw hat looks good on you. Aw. Thanks, it's kind of his whole thing. Oh, shoot. So he's met Shanks. We've seen Shanks. Oh. Oh, now he fell asleep. It's six o'clock. Dude, it's baiting so hard. Seriously. Oh my gosh, man. First him saying that like they, they helped too and then this. Oh, at six o'clock he knocks out and the other ruler picks up. Master Cat Viper. Ah. Oh shoot. It's a giant cat. Giant dog, giant cat. Wait, that's that's beautiful. They like swap shifts. So I'm guessing now the cat has awoken, like an internal clock. Of course they don't like each other. Cats and dogs. 
Oh, interesting. It's that differing, huh? I, I like that though. It is a, a cat and a dog. Again, I'm not liking these teases though. Oh, a new one? Ah, oh, it's Zoro's original village. Very cool. They used to be best friends. Oh, it's not just because they're cats and dogs. Too many fights. Look like this is the dark arc of Dory and Broggy. Six to six and then, ah, oh, I see. And it makes sense that the cat is like nocturnal. Oh, everybody goes to sleep at, at six o'clock sharp? Bro, wait, what? It's that like... Oh, wow. So intriguing. That's what One Piece always does. It's like these things that didn't have to be the way they are, but it is. Yeah, who's supposed to watch after them when everybody's asleep? Good night, sweet prince. There are some freaking goobers, man. Oh, so it's been like this for a while. Why is Wanda not asleep? So whenever they fought Jack's group, they would swap off like day and night? Jack isn't like perma mammoth though, right? Like I'm assuming he's a, a, a freaking dude. I, I I always forget. Um, Zoan. That's why he's got like regular hair on top. Dude, that is so cool. That's not the voice I expected from that small little rabbit. So I'm guessing they didn't find Raizo and then like Nami and, all, and Sanji and all them like scared it scared him off. Regardless, Sanji isn't here. Nor Caesar Clown. Yeah, why was he so confident that Raizo was here? Oh, shoot. And then the musketeers show up. Oh, Wanda. Oh, so she's a musketeer too. Uh. Oh, and Carrot. Okay. So they're just like the fighting forces. Carrot doesn't have one of those cool hats though. So they can infuse his electricity and like weapons too. Huh. It does seem just like innate for literally all of them. No! Dude, that was, oh my gosh, bro. I'm surprised you didn't cut him in half. Look how like Zoen too, like, like the lobster claws and stuff. Those with black horns? Or the, is the black horns like, is it uh armament? Dude, it's like Zoen, but it's like on different body parts. That's so weird. Oh, shoot. I mean, at least Shishillian kind of like put his money where his mouth is. He talks big. Oh my gosh, a zebra. The three dog store musketeers. <laughs> that's badass. Dude, that's a, that's terrifying, actually. The mammoth? I'm, I'm pretty scary. Yeah, it is weird how like body parts are like Zoan type, but like not the, their entirety. But like Jack appears to be. What do you mean, who are they? They announced themselves. Now smack them down, me. I shouldn't cheer for Jack, but I, I I don't know. It feels wrong not to. I'm kind of a monster. I'm guessing this is where the straw hats came in. Or since it's nighttime, we see the cat. Oh, I guess Duke got injured in the whole fight too. So I don't know if this is before or after he did. What? What happened? Oh, wait, no. Oh, now Duke comes in. I see, I see, I see. Oh, shoot. All oh, their ears perking up. I'm guessing Duke tried to talk to him first. <laughs> uh, that clueless. Apparently, he did not. So they always have like those pineapple fortress, like for like backup, just in case this happened. Duke Dog Storm. He's so cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm kind of cute too. That was all. That was a sequence and a half. A long one at that. 7:59. Dude, she's wearing like nothing. Yeah, they would genuinely believe believe that Raizo wasn't here. We don't even know if Raizo is or isn't here. Kinemon thought so, and I think so, but they genuinely don't think so. That's. I like the design of him. He just said, we'll kill them all if you don't bring it to him. Bring him to us. God, dude, Shaq is such a freaking unit, man. Oh, oh. 
they just like running to to their death base I'm, i was just surprised the musketeers didn't win like they seem very strong with like the electric and whatnot he still tried talking is he that strong of a fighter oh shoot no he's trying to fight alone oh no he's laying it down oh don't tell me this is how duke got bodied yeah just let them search and and just look everywhere yeah and you won't find them exactly it was his last ditch effort to just save lives has a glorious history and just like that did he dodge that jack was clearly inter not interested in talking or just looking i wonder what glorious history he meant oh no he's fine he's just standing there oh my god the glasses he stopped him damn duke holy duke got a him going up against me like this oh, they said he's the strongest warrior here no and they said he's the same strength as the cat fairy land of fuzzy animals and like i said i'm guessing yeah here on out just a big war begin so those are the black horns oh jack's bounty one billion <laughs> let's go i'm a beast one billion 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 dollars damn holy shit i didn't know bounties like that could get that high man oh my gosh i'm lightheaded so i'm guessing like here just like an all-out war started is that his fault because they didn't give him up <laughs> dude a billion berries oh and here it started so i'm guessing yeah we're gonna see like where the straw hats came into play but now it makes more and more sense like we we got a glimpse into what happened because sanji and them fought against this guy who's jack's like seemingly right hand man i, I forget his name already i'm surprised the cat didn't fight at night because now it's day he's running up my trunk oh wait he actually hit him jack come on man oh but he wouldn't have gotten taken down here because they called the straw hats the heroes they did nothing yep hey that's classic me baby resilient dang do a jigga chad now i see how he ended up in the hospital I think Jack is one of those villains or characters where he's not as much like offense heavy, but more defense. Like this greatest fighter here isn't even able to like pierce him with this like electric blade. Like it's doing nothing at all. He's more of like a, a tank, if anything. We'll see how strong the cat is too, or see how the cat fights. I like though, like how it is like dog and cat and they don't get along anymore, but they used to be friends. Jack the drought, what a freaking nickname, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. feels kind of like weird them saying my name in this context jack versus duke dog storm like his eyes go white and then he's just perfectly fine again oh it just rolls it okay dude Uh, boy, I, no, I shouldn't cheer for him. He's a tyrant, obviously. I'm literally just biased because it's my name. Dude, this is so strong. So all of them, it's just like animals in their arms. and stuff. That is so weird. It's cool, but it's strange. Gifters grip trio. Oh. It's the musketeers versus the gifters grip trio. <laughs> Yeah, so much for them, bro. Oh, oh, wait, the, the flood man. I didn't think about that. Oh, I feel like Jack would be fine because he's so big, but like, what about the others? They wouldn't be ready for this. Yeah, they don't even know. Sheep's head. Okay, that's, that's pretty easy to remember, actually. He has like sheep powers. So that caused sort of like a snap in the battle. Yeah, like look at Jack, he's just standing there. <laughs> it's not even reaching his ankles. Oh, they're used to these conditions. Use it. And the battle continues. Oh, 
So the Jolly Roger on his belt, is that Jax or is that Kaido's? Since he's technically Kaido's right hand man. I'm guessing Kaido's? Cause like Ace was like one of the captains of the Whitebeard pirates, but he didn't have his own. Well, he used to, I, I'm assuming he used to, but then he had Whitebeards or he displayed Whitebeards. So I'm guessing that's Kaido's Jolly Roger. It just looks like it could be Jax because it looks like it has like tusks or something or like horns. And let me guess the straw hats turned into, oh six, the cat. Oh, was the cat like uh, just awaken? Master Cat Viper. Full of the night. He's like, right, I'll trade off. I'll trade shifts. So yeah, wait, uh, how did Duke end up in such bad shape? This, that's how long the battle went on. <laughs> He's going to say the cat is unreasonable. Oh, if I get to see the cat. Full of the night. Oh. Oh, so the cat's got like a whole squad from the forest. Oh, shoot. Damn, I'm surprised they didn't win. They're fresh and rested. He's got a pipe. Oh my gosh, he's a unit. Look at that scar. And we met the guardians. Oh, okay, it's gonna be like BB in them. Damn. It's like a lion cat. Dude. Damn. This cat is crazy! How do they lose? Wouldn't let any samurai step onto the island. Oh. Dude, does everybody here hate samurai? Waits for the dawn of the world? What's that even mean? Master Cat Viper, the warden of the whale forest, king of the night. Damn, Jigga Chad! Is he licking himself? There's no way. Oh. Human Jack! Oh my, oh my, oh my, reward, <laughs> one billion, holy Jigga Chad, that's me, he's got like an uh, like a iron jaw, elephant, elephant, the ancient version, dude, he looks sick, and he uses a tusk to fight, a sword tusk, two sword tusks, oh my gosh, Damn! Dude, his design is crazy! He's a unit man! So I'm I'm guessing it didn't go <clears throat> super well for this for this cat. Um Oh the Bep oh okay, okay. I see why Beppo was like all injured now. No, it makes sense. His little pose. Thanks, John Bart's got a gun? Bro strapped? Dude, Jack looks crazed. I'm so happy with my design, man. He looks so cool. Oh my gosh, what a freaking titan. It's so crazy how quickly we were throwing into like the chaos that went down here on Zo. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's no wonder this city ended up just obliterated. Because like I said, the Straw Hats aren't even here yet. So I'm guessing this battle just carry on for days and nights. Just kept on going. But still, we are yet to find out what happened with Sanji and Caesar. It is teasing it so hard. But I'm guessing we will by the end of this entire backstory. Like We're just finding out everything about Jack and why he came here. Because we still don't know how he find out, found out that Rizo might have been here. Or why he was even coming here for him or why like the master cat viper would even uh, care about samurai stepping foot on zo like there's so many moving parts man it's, it's just like a question can be answered and then like 10 more pop out of that same answer but finally we are introduced to the leaders of this country and i guess their respective roles and how strong they are how stupidly strong they are i like this concept of the cat and the dog in the day and the night it's just like things feel very meticulously planned in the world of one piece because they are we've seen through things coming up uh, again again in the future or like f things we've learned in the past it's like it's not just random like okay there's a leader at night and the leader during the day no but it's a dog and a cat it's like the polar opposites and they lead different sanctions and obviously they had a past together like it sets stuff up but like keeps on going for you to guess more and more and more it's it's so good man it's so good but man jack is so cool he's just a, a freaking beast man so much so that the other straw hats obviously had to step in but guys that's been it for my reaction today i hope you did enjoy make sure you leave a like on this one and i'll catch you next time peace peace